Hello, my YouTube family. I'm sorry. Let me just move my stuff over just a bit. Sorry about that. Okay. How are you? How's my YouTube family? It's only Thursday, people. I can't really say it's only Thursday. There's only one more day to go. But this is the longest week in hell, man. Like the longest week ever. But it is Thursday. That means Shonda Rhimes night. Don't nobody talk to me. Anyway, how's everybody? Let's get started. Let us start with lips of the day. And this, well, let us start with lips of the day. I'm doing lips of the day. Okay, you see how tired I am. When I start talking in boo-boo boo -boo language, I, uh, you know, that means I'm so exhausted that my mouth is talking faster than my brain. And then my brain catches up. And then it realizes, you said something very wrong. Okay, let's start with the lip liner, people. I'm too tired. I'm too tired. I'm just going to have spaghetti for lunch. For, for lunch. Do you see what I'm talking about? I'm just going to have spaghetti for dinner. I, I, I can't. I, I can't with anything else. Pasta for dinner. That's it. Done. All right. Current. Matt Current. And it's sad, pitiful state. Lined and filled. It's a, a lipstick that I haven't used in a Stone's age. Um, NYX Butter Lipstick. And this is in the color Licorice. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but that's what it says. Licorice. I've done a lip look on it before. And, oh, look, we have company. And this is what Licorice looks like. And when you see him heading straight for something, that's my mail on my bed. And this is licorice, people. Oh, look it, look it. It looks so gorgeous. Yes, honey. It's cold outside. So, you know, a deep color suited suited the, the occasion just fine. So that is licorice. New York, it's NYX NYX butter lipstick. Stays on your lips forever and a day. Doesn't dry out. Me lovey, me lovey, me lovey. I don't know why I didn't store up on more than more of these. But Nancy, you don't need any more lipstick. So there you go. All right. So that is it, people. I know, short, sweet, to the point. Like, seriously, short, sweet, to the point. Um, There's nothing to talk about last night. Oh, God, he's going cat crazy. He tends to go cat crazy earlier these days. I think he found a bird that it's, it's the same time, almost the same time every night where he just goes nuts. Yes. Meowing like, like he's going to talk to the bird. Okay. I love him to my soul companion. I love him to death. Um, yeah, there's no news on the dating site. No news. And I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm just tired of what's out there. I'm tired of, you know, maybe my time passed, passed me to get, you know, a partner. Maybe, maybe the person that I was living with was supposed to be the person that I was supposed to, you know, live with forever, but apparently not because he found his true mate, which he married and is living with now. So obviously we weren't meant to be together. So was I just a passing fancy? Apparently all the boyfriends that I had that are now married, I was the passing fancy. I must have been just the, you know, the warm up, the startup girl. And then I I I I I I built them to perfection for the next chick. So I had to deal with all the crumbs and all the, you know, the, the bad stuff. I dealt with that. I made them perfect. Then they left me or I left them. It's not all about them. And uh, they got married and, um, you know, next. <sighs> I'm not depressed or anything. I'm just kind of fed up. Um, I'm not angry, but I'm like borderline angry because it's like, why them, not me? Or why couldn't we all just be married? Like they got married. Why couldn't I get married? What happened to me? Like I warmed them up and shipped them off or they shipped themselves off. 
They walked down the aisle, had a nice wedding and everything. And what happened to me? So I'm the bad seed. Because usually if things don't work out, like in a, in a, in a coupling or in, in, in friendship or whatever, there's always one that's the, 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 the common denominator. Like you're always the one that's bad. You're, you're always the one that's, you're the one that everybody has a problem with. So obviously you're the, you're the troublemaker. So I guess I should be pointing to myself. I, I'm the troublemaker, not really the troublemaker, but I'm the one that, that, that's always being left. So there must be something wrong with me. Here I am thinking I'm doing a good thing and apparently not. I mean, I can't really talk about the one that I left because that was my choice. So I left. But a year later, you go and get married. So it must not have been all that fantastic for you either. There wasn't even that, you know, that that down period of like, maybe we could get back together kind of a thing. No, he just whoosh, whole year later, boom, got married down the aisle. Done. <laughs> Men work very, very fast. So, yeah, frustrated is probably the word I can describe how I'm feeling because it's the fall and it's that, 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 that kind of weather where you wish you could cuddle up with somebody, not, not sex, but just kind of cuddle or have dinner with or go out and meet somebody and, you know, you know. I'm, I'm leaving work early or I'll meet you at the restaurant and then we can have dinner and then we can come home. You know, that kind of a thing. I guess those days are over for me. I had days like that. I had days like that. It was fun. It was, you know, when I was living with somebody and, and we actually worked together in the same job, I would leave earlier and sometimes he would call and he would leave like an hour or so after me when I was already home. He'd say, why don't you just meet me at such and such? And then we meet at the restaurant or, you know, I'd have dinner waiting. And <sighs> you never know how good you have it until it's gone. But the love was gone in our relationship. So it wasn't really all that good after a while. After a while. Started out fantastic, but it just kind of, hmm. But there were some mistakes that I I made. I Well, I can only speak for myself. I don't know about him. But I can only speak for myself. I know that there were mistakes that I made in that relationship that in my next relationship, I'm not going to make. But where is my next relationship? There's the question. Because I left that relationship over 10 years ago. So... Yeah. So... So what's happening now? I, you know, what happened? I guess that's the unanswered question. Unanswered question. All right, people, enough of that. Okay. I don't want to bring anybody down. I don't want to depress anybody. I'm not really depressed. I'm not depressed. I'm just lonely. Hmm. I don't like that word either. That could be it, but I'm, I don't like the word. I just don't like the word. Am I lonely? I like being alone. I have no problem being alone. Am I lonely? Well, it's sort of kind of, it's the weather and it's the fall and then the holidays are around the corner. It's, it's, it's all of that. That's what's bringing up these feelings. So yeah, maybe a, maybe a little lonely, but that sounds almost pathetic. Especially since, you know, I just got hit up on, on a dating site. And of course, that turned out to be. Anyway, so I'm like hoping that something else occurs. Like I get hit up again by somebody that's decent. I can look for myself, but the ones that I have checked out, profile pictures and profiles themselves. Okay. Okay. In any event, that is it. That is all. I'm not bringing any of my YouTube family down. That's not going to be the case. Not today. Um, that's it. That's all. Shonda Rhimes, Thursday night. Scandal, how to get away with murder. I'm done. So there you go. That's it. I love you. Let me know what you think. This is The Shade. It is licorice from NYX. Butter lipstick.
I've done a lip look on it before. And uh, there you go. Oh, look who it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, can I tell you? Speaking of me coughing, last night, he'll tell you. Last night, I almost choked in my sleep. Oh, it was scary. It was scary as all hell. Like bile was traveling upward. I could feel it. Traveling upward, traveling upward. And I knew I was going to choke on that stuff. I was going to say, you know what I was going to say. And something like my guardian angel. I have the best guardian angel known to man. I don't know who he, she is. Sits on one shoulder or the other, whatever. But she guides me. And she literally pushed my body to sit up so it could go back down. And I was coughing a little bit. And I was, I was almost in panic mode. And I said, you know what? I'm the only one in this house right now. So, because Papa's at work. I had to sit straight up for a good 10 minutes or so. This was like 4 o'clock in the morning when this happened. Look at him. Really? And he was next to me. And when I woke up, I thought he was going to jump off the bed. No, he just sat right there. He, he just like knew, like, is mom okay? Is mom all right? He didn't meow. He just kind of looked at me. And after I felt okay, I was like, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. And I kept saying that to myself too. I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with me. And there really wasn't, but I was going to choke in my sleep. That's not the way to go for me. No. Mm -mm. I'm not going that route. So, Guardian Angel, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It was scary as all hell. Maybe my head was too low and I don't know what the hell it was. All I know is I finally eventually did go back to sleep. I had a good two, two hours left. Thank goodness for that too. And I went, I went right back to sleep. I didn't have trouble going back to sleep. I just, it conked right back out. But I could feel the liquid traveling. Oh my goodness. It was just, it was just scary. It's all hell. So that was the, the, the drama for Wednesday night into Thursday morning. It really was Thursday morning, this morning. I don't want that to happen again. I don't need that happening to me, people. Okay. I really, you know, I really don't. All right. So that is it. That is all. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think about these lips. And, uh, you know, any of you um, gladiators out there, let us discuss. Well, we'll discuss tomorrow, I'm, I'm almost certain. Um, today was payday, and I had to withdraw my paycheck from my checking account because I have to save it for Saturday. Muffler day. Yay. But we still have one more day to go. One more day of work. One more day of work to go. Let it be a fast one. I love you. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully, you know, let's just get this week out the way. Maybe next week I'll be in much better spirits. Hopefully. Okay. I love you. Bye now.